How to write in media studies. Let's talk about structure. This is absolutely crucial to exam writing, where we need to be both clear and concise. For the purposes of today's video, we're going to be looking at the tied print advertisement that you have studied. A strong response needs to start with a punchy opening, something that clearly establishes the focus of your writing. Let's imagine we have this question. Discuss the representation of gender in the tied advertisement. This is a very typical component one exam question. So let's take a look at the kind of opening line I see students writing all the time. There are many ways in which gender is represented in the tied advertisement. This is not getting you any marks. It's a waste of time. You're simply rewriting the exam question as a statement. Instead, why not try this? The representations in the tied advertisement reflect the stereotypical image of a 1950s housewife. And so we've started strong. A clear idea of where our analysis is going to focus, this image of the housewife and how it's constructed. And also, we've used some tier three language straight away in that opening line with the use of the word stereotype. So whatever exam question you're faced with, make sure you're setting out your key point straight away. If we've begun by establishing our key points, we now need to back that up with evidence. This is where we really earn our marks. The Tide advertisement is filled with elements that construct this housewife stereotype. Perhaps you already have notes similar to these. The clothing, especially the polka dot dress, is instantly recognisable as a housewife. The hairstyle, short and held back with a headband, connotes the character's focus on her domestic work. The gesture code of the woman embracing the Tide product constructs stereotypical gender roles, women, confined to the domestic sphere. The pink cartoon hearts convey her pleasure in this domestic role. However, we don't want to simply just list off these key points, otherwise our writing will start to sound a little repetitive. Instead, why don't we try and use this word, reinforced. This word provides us with a simple and effective way to neaten up our analysis. So instead of a list, we get something like this. Here's our opening line again. The representations in the Tide advertisement reflect the stereotypical image of housewife. And then, the clothing, especially the polka dot dress, helps to construct this highly recognisable 1950s image. The hairstyle, short and held back with a headband, connotes the character's focus on her domestic work. The image of housewife is further reinforced by her gesture codes. The woman embraces the Tide product, reflecting the stereotypical gender roles of women confined to the domestic sphere. The pink cartoon hearts further anchor this meaning by conveying the woman's pleasure in this domestic role. Our response here flows nicely from one point to the next. It's simple and effective. And so after collating all our evidence, now let's see if we can expand our analysis and grab those final few marks. Perhaps here, as the question is about representation, we want to talk about other areas of the theoretical framework, such as audience. Perhaps we want to talk about theory and see if we can apply theoretical perspectives to the text. But that's such a big point that we're going to leave that for another video. I think more appropriately for this tied advertisement, we want to talk about context. Now, an effective analysis of this advertisement requires an understanding of the social context of the 1950s. So why not try adding in something like this? The 1950s was a time of more hegemonic attitudes towards gender, and therefore the advertisement's construction of the happy housewife stereotype is typical of this period. The repeated exposure of female audiences to these images created a cultural myth of what it meant to be a woman, what women want. And so we've set out our key point, we've backed it up with evidence, and then we've expanded that analysis. This is not the only way of structuring a response to an exam question, but it is neat, it is simple, and it gives you a clear and concise focus for the examiner to mark. 